accelerator system status. This video is about how did I made this model in Blender. I got the inspiration for making this model from a movie named Coverfield Paradox. I collect the references from that movie and made the model accordingly. Okay, this video is divided into two sections. The first part is modeling the earth and second one is modeling the spaceship. Making earth includes only 5% of the modeling stuff and just 95% is all texturing. In modeling, we just have to add a UV sphere and shade it smooth. Further, we just create two more duplicates with a slightly greater scale. The reason we are creating three layers is that each layer will serve its own unique purpose. Let me explain it in a better way. The first one is the surface layer. Here, the earth base texture would be mapped. The second one is the cloud. And the third one is for the blue atmosphere line we see from the space. Now, before jumping on to texturing, we set up the scene by decreasing the world intensity and adding sunlight to the left of the earth, pointing towards it. So, we have this basic scene set up. Now, the node arrangements for the texture looks like this. Okay, let's understand it in a different way. Considering the base sphere, here we can see that there are three textures which join together to output the image. But in actual arrangement, it looks like this. Everything starts from the coordinate texture node. Here we select the generate node as an output which is joined to the four texture image. Let's consider these two. The first one is the real earth map and the second one is the black and white normal map. The output of the first image is connected to the color node of diffuse BSDF. The second image is connected to the bump node which is further connected to the normal node of diffuse BSDL. This helps us to give the bump effect on the earth. And all this node create this basic look. Now we need to add some glossiness. So for the glossiness we use glossy BSDF which was mixed with our previous texture via Fresnel node as a factor. The purpose of Fresnel node is to decrease the glossiness towards the center of the earth. Since we want the glossiness only above the water surface as these nodes are further mixed with a mix shader with pack as the output of the first image. Now you might be wondering what this first image is. This first image is a black and white map of water bodies. We connect this image output to the color ramp to just exaggerate the white color and then the output is connected to the factor. Now for giving lights to the part of the earth where the light isn't receiving, we will be using an image texture with a night map selected in it. This is connected to the emission shader which is further connected to the mix shader mixing these two. Here we use pack node to see the light only on the darker side of the earth. And this pack gets input from the normal node connected via color ramp. And this is how we get this basic map of earth. For the second sphere which consists of clouds, we use image texture with cloud map selected which is mapped in this way to the mix texture. Here we use transparent BSDF which basically makes the black factor coming from color ramp as transparent. And finally, for the third layer, we again use transparent VSDF and principal VSDF with factor inputted by layer weight to get the blue atmosphere layer around Earth. So this is how we model the Earth in Blender. Before modeling anything, the first thing we need to do is to study the reference images. For this model, I take screenshots of some of the scenes of the movie and on studying them, I take some confusion out of it. Here we can see the positioning of lights and pipes. Also observe the side wall. Its V-shape depicts that the space station will have six sides. It means it is a hexagon. So for the body, we start by adding plane. Make it vertical, add one loop cut, push the middle vertices in inward direction. Further, we use the extrude tool to get this basic look. Remember, whenever we deal with the symmetric objects, we just model only one fourth part of the model and rest of the thing is handled by the mirror module. In this case, add loop cut at the middle, delete the left part, now make sure that origin of the object is at the corner point where it has to be mirrored. Then apply the mirror modifier and also select the clipping. Give some more details to the scene by extruding faces for lights and other parts. Then I add some pipes which are basically cylinders and apply shade smooth to them. I also use boolean modifier to create holes in the ground. Let me show you how. The first thing we need to do is to give thickness to the plane by using thickness modifier. Then add a cylinder at a particular point. Use arrow modifier to create more duplicates and place them accordingly at a correct position. Then add boolean modifier to the plane and select the cylinder via dropper. Just apply the boolean modifier and delete the cylinder. Further, I apply texture to the whole scene. Also apply the emission texture to the emitting object. Now since we are using EV, in render settings make sure you enable bloom for the emission. Then I set up the lightning of the scene and place all the object to their respective position and add the camera movement. Now before jumping on to compositing, make sure you enable the transparent checkbox in the render setting. 
Over here I used two scenes. In the first scene the earth would be rendered and the second scene the spaceship would be rendered with the rest background as an alpha layer. In the composition the node arrangement looks like this. The first render layer is for the scene 2 and the second one is for the earth. The scene 1 looks like this. Here the output of glossy directional node is connected to the color ramp which is connected to the blur to get some Gaussian blur. This is further connected again to the color ramp to just tweak the color. This whole thing is connected to glare node for adding the glare effect and this is connected to the real earth via alpha over node. So now for the environment we again use alpha over node where we connect one node to the environment. And finally this whole thing is connected to the scene one which looks like this via alpha over node and we get the final result as this. And finally we just render the scene. So that's how I made this model in Blender. You can also download the scene from my website, link is given in the description below. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, tell me in the comment section below and also subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss the new video. Thank you.